This is the all-new Community Connection. I'm your host, Jade Harrell, keeping you connected to our community. Well, summer is winding on down, and it's about that time to send our children back to school. Well, we want to send them equipped and ready to start out fresh, prepared, and set to begin their next year of academic excellence. Well, a committed partner in this effort and constantly on the charge for our young people is Corey Johnson. And the Corey Johnson Foundation presents the sixth year yep. annual back-to-school event. It's Can Skate again. Corey, we are excited to have you back. I am excited to be here, Jay. <laughs> again, thank you for always uh, letting us come on the show and using this as a platform to get the message out for our children to come out and have a great time. Well, that's at least I could do as my commitment, but you have really put in some work, and here we are to be able to say that it's six years. Yes. That's something really to boast and be be very proud of. Yes, ma'am. I remember the first, uh, what was that, the first show Mm -hmm. I did with you, you was like, hey, I always say this. (laughs) I always say this to people. You got a lot of work to do. This ain't your last one. That's right. And believe me, it hasn't been. Yeah. So yeah. six years later, we're still here. We're growing. Uh, we've actually moved it from uh, St. Nick's. Really? It's not going to be on a Saturday anymore. It's going to be on a Tuesday. Really? So, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely, uh, it's growing. Yeah. Last year, we ran out of skates. <laughs> <laughs> How about that at yeah, a can skate yeah, event? Yes, yeah. sir. Well, then let's share with everybody what all the excitement is about and how is it that you've got such a great turnout. Talk about can skate and the idea behind it. Well, the idea behind can skate was that I, I you know, you, you sit around, you hear people talk negative about the children, man. And it's like, you know what? I'm tired of hearing it. Let's do something. And that was in 2000. That was really in 2009, 2010. Uh, is when I started doing the can skate, uh, getting it all together. 2011 was our first year. And, uh, we started with 54 backpacks to donate to children in need. This year, our goal is 1,000 backpacks. 1,000. 1,000. Yes, and ma'am. that's your goal, but knowing that it's the need, yes. that's, that's easy. Yes. It yes, most ma'am. certainly is. Yes, that's ma'am. actually short of the need. That's, actually, that's really short of the need, you know, mm-hmm. but, our goal, we've we've always moved up every year from 300, 400, 500. Mm-hmm. And last year, I think we got right at 369. Wow. And uh, to give away. This year, I just set a goal of mm-hmm. 1,000. That's right. Just let's keep going. Why not? Why, Why not? not? You know, mm-hmm. why shortchange ourselves? So let's talk about the backpacks. Mm-hmm. What's in the backpacks and what are we trying to accomplish for the children this year? Yeah, we, we, what we put in the backpacks is kind of the basics. We put uh, paper, uh, pencils, folders, pens. Uh, and that's about it, just to get them started. The, uh, I hate seeing children walk down the street with bags, you know, for their as a backpack. Why not give them something to ho- so they can put their stuff in, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and uh, be prepared? Right. We got to push them, and, and and especially now, we really have to. Mm-hmm. Talk about what what your feeling is about that. Why more so now than ever before? <sighs> we right now we are we have to do something. We have to uh, really. Get our children, hold them, love them, uh, encourage them, teach them, mold them, guide them. If we don't do this, man, we see the end results. We know what they are. And every day is plastered on TV. You can see the end results. And sometimes half of these people don't even deserve it. Right. You know, and and it's it's I'm getting wore out, mm-hmm. you know. And it makes me feel like uh, let's kick in. I got to kick in even more now, Mm -hmm. you know, with the foundation as well as the people around me. And they all feel the same way. Most certainly do. Well, then let's go a little bit more into the foundation, the Mm -hmm. Corey Johnson Foundation. Yes, ma'am. Birthed out of a big hearted fella. Yeah, big (laughs) big hearted fella, huh? Yeah, Yeah, you do, though, Corey. I know people may look and say, oh, wow, he's tough. He's, you know, he's just, he's just. But you have a tremendous compassionate big heart yeah i do man i i I was once one of those kids you know Mm -hmm. uh you know sometimes i I always say this you know growing up i didn't realize how poor i was (laughs) you know because i was surrounded by love you know and i i know we didn't have everything which was fine but you know to see these kids now it's like i want to do something i was once one of them i was once one of them 
doing you know wild and crazy things we all have our, our past but it comes a time where we make a change and we want to show them not to make the same mistakes or not to even get involved in certain things right. you know don't right. even entertain the thought you know and uh, that's where we need uh, especially men we got to start standing up and being better mentors you know mm-hmm. the, telling them you know quit being afraid to say something to these young boys say something to them right. bring them to the side half of them want that believe it or not right. but that's well, that might be easy for you to say because you you say something that's a yes sir. <laughs> 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 but truth is, truth is, we really should not be afraid. And I'm glad that yeah. you're speaking out about that. And is that at the heart of mm-hmm. the foundation? What is your mission statement? Our mission statement is to teach children the importance of philanthropy by giving and receiving, with the emphasis on giving. Mm. We've got away. We've gotten away from giving. Yeah. We give our kids so much. Um, because of uh, what we didn't have, mm-hmm. and we spoil them. Well, we may spoil them, but yeah. when we look at our circumstances, we're either bribing, buying, comforting, patching over yes. with yes. things. That's even better. And, and I'm glad and you I did it. right because I'm glad you said spoil that. would then imply there's some privilege or advantage. Gotcha. And when we're looking at their scenarios, I mean. For goodness sake, doing the best we can to try to make it a mm. better experience for them. Yeah. And with the opportunities or resources that we have, oftentimes that's with gifting or right. um, lack of responsibilities and accountability. No, I totally, what you said, I totally agree with yeah. No, yeah, I, I totally agree. Hey, I totally agree. <laughs> hey, I learned we're something today. We're, <laughs> we're in agreement here. Hey, look, I totally agree with you. Yeah. And, yeah. and I say that because I, I also have had the privilege of seeing you as a father. Mm-hmm. And I know what you do, not only for your children, but as you step in as a mentor. Mm-hmm. And then as the foundation extends beyond the event mm-hmm. that happens on August 9th. Some of the other things that you do as well with the young people, especially young men, uh, speak yeah. to that. Yeah. Well, well with the young men, uh, we started the POO program, mm-hmm. which is an acronym for providing opportunities otherwise lost. Say that one more time. A uh, POO program, providing opportunities otherwise lost. We teach them life lessons through billiards. Mm-hmm. And uh, at ages from ages 6 to 18, uh, out at Qtopia two on the lower level one one eight two four West Florissant, we do that for the last three years. This will be our fourth year doing it. Uh, just teaching these kids, getting them prepared for what's what's going on, what's real life, and uh, we talk about these words such as responsibility, respect, compassion, all these different words. Uh, because some of them, believe it or not, they know what it is, but they just don't know how to use it correctly. Mm-hmm. They can use it in the game as well as in life, and for for them, they love this. We talk about that word for at least 20 minutes of the two hours. Wow. You know, I want to make sure that they have a clear understanding of what's, what it is to be expected of them here and uh, well at the uh, place as well as outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the parents love it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, of course we do. Share one of the success stories. Oh, man. I have uh, Michaela. Let me see Michaela and Ken. And uh, they're brothers and sisters, right? <laughs> Michaela is a wrestler, believe it or not. Okay? <laughs> Ken is Ken is all around. He plays baseball. He wrestles, and they're always in competition, you know. So uh, she came up to me and was like, "Corey, Corey, look, look at what I did." You know, they're they're really happy, you know, when I show them something, and they may not get it um, initially, mm-hmm. but they get it. Let's say one or two times afterwards. Oh my God! Right? You think gave him <laughs> <laughs> hit the lotto? Oh my God! Ken's the same way, and I mean the great part about it is they're leaders. Mm-hmm. You know, they're natural leaders. I don't have to do anything. If a new kid comes in, they go over there automatically. Hey, this is what we do. Right. This is how we do right. it. You don't do that. You know, and it's just amazing how in three years how things have are changing in a very positive way for yes. these kids. So. Yes. Yes. I love it. And I, I won't stop. That's right. That's right. Well, we don't expect you to stop. You better not. No, I'm not <laughs> stopping. This is this here. I've found purpose. And Ooh. the thing is, you know, with purpose, right, it's it's a feeling you cannot buy. You can't do anything. You have to experience it for yourself. Mm-hmm. And when, and it, it, when money doesn't matter to you anymore like that, you know, don't get me wrong. Money is important. You have to use a tool. But. 
purpose is something totally different. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it is. And this is something that you create with your foundation mm-hmm. through the pool program mm-hmm. and can skate. So yeah. let's talk about the skating event. Huh. How's that go down? Oh, man, the skating event <laughs> goes down. You come in, uh, you bring your parent, of course. Everybody's required to bring their parent uh, with uh, five non perishable food items. Uh, at the door, we're going to collect them. Uh, those food items are going to be uh, distributed right back into right back into the community to another organization, a great organization called Feed My Peeps. Nice. Okay, they feed man, they feed hundreds of people every week. Uh, people want you know people who falling down on their luck uh, mm-hmm. to homeless people. They provide a lot of different things for them, and they're a great organization that I've been working with for last four three four years. Nice. Uh, and uh, this year, I decided we well we decided to uh, gift them the uh, non perishable food items. So after they come in, they can go get their skates and they can skate for four hours. I mean, three hours. So the the canned the canned goods the per- mm-hmm. the non perishable food items are their admission. Mm-hmm. Are their admission fee? Sweet. Yep. Sweet. Mm-hmm. There's no the philanthropy. Exchange. Yeah. No. No. But you let them know that their giving is a currency. That's right. Their mm-hmm. giving is a currency. Their 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 non perishable food items is going to help someone else. And uh, when they come in, they can skate. You know, it's, it, we have uh, trivia games. Uh, you know, people walking around asking questions, giving away gift cards and mm-hmm. stuff like that mm-hmm. for local history. Um, and at the end of the event, uh, throughout the event, we have a couple of things going on. Let me get back to that. We have uh, this year uh, Get Fit Crews coming mm. uh, with Sheila Cunningham. Okay. Beautiful thing. They do. A, uh, they fight uh, against childhood obesity. Mm-hmm. So getting these kids out, uh, having a good time. Is is wonderful and getting them more active, mm-hmm. getting them off those uh, video games and stuff like that. That's uh, that's her total mission. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's a nurse. She's phenomenal. Uh, and we also have Rebirth, the skating uh, guys that <laughs> that come out uh, this year. Uh, Rebirth will be there again. Doing their thing, doing their, yeah, always showing off showing their, their skills. skills. Yeah, <laughs> they always show their skills off. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. yeah. they're amazing. Yeah, they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are. And, and you know, with them, of course, they touch the other skaters and the other groups to come out. And it's, and it's just a family event. You know, I, my vision of this is to create a community event. Now that uh, if everything goes right, which it will. And growing wise, I would like to create it as a uh, community event. That'd be great. That'd be great. Wouldn't it be cool if they could open up the rink over there, man, in Forest Park man. or something like that? Yeah, you know, I, in, my, in, in my mind, in my vision, I, that was the first place I, uh-huh. I really wanted to uh-huh. do it. But, but you may even need something bigger than I that. Mean, I think, brother, yeah. brother, we might be talking Chaffetz now. Yeah, we, yeah, we <laughs> might, man. I'm telling you, it's it's We're growing so about, much. Yeah, yeah. And We're every year, it, you know. With different people in different okay. platforms, the first the first idea, of course, you know, it's not many skating rings. Is uh, what's that? Coach Light, mm-hmm. Steinberg, mm-hmm. Saint Nick's, Skate King, mm-hmm. and I started with uh, started with uh, uh, Saint Nick's because it was the most affordable at right, the time, right. you know. But growing wise, you know, mm-hmm. you meet different people, things happen, and connections start to form, and uh, there you go. things happen. So we come, together we come together for the greater good. That's right. All right, well then, what do you need still? And send out this invitation. Oh, I need backpacks okay, and school yeah, right. supplies. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course, to reach that, reach that 1,000 uh, mark, we, we, we really need backpacks, and we really need school supplies. Uh, you can contact us at Corey. That's K O R E Y J Foundation dot org. Uh, you can go online. You can uh, donate there, or you can contact me directly at three one four seven three two seven 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 one. Again, this is Can Skate. It's Tuesday, August ninth at Skate King sixty twenty five Natural Bridge, St. Louis, Missouri six three one two zero from six to nine p.m. Come on out and have a great time. It's going to be a blast. Uh, five to thirteen years of age. Make sure there's a grown up that comes because it is a family event. We want everybody to come together. Your donations go to feed my peeps. Five non perishable food items get you in the door. We need more supplies and more backpacks to make this a resounding success. And you can be a part of that. Reach out at CoreyJFoundation.org, K O R E Y J Foundation.org, or call 732 7771 314 
732-7771 and find out how you can contribute, connect, and make Can Skate the biggest year ever this year for our children to get that edge and off to an excellent start. Corey J., yes. I appreciate you I'll, doing what you do, yes, staying ma'am. on the charge, mm-hmm. and making have a to. real difference in the, uh, the lives of our young people. We have no choice. We have to do this. It's, it's for our it's for our youth and generational. You know, this is this is what I do, but generation wise, I want to continue this. I don't want it to be six. I want it to be the fifty or the hundred. That's it. That's it. You know that's mean? it. Create a legacy. That's right. You know? That's right. Well, there will be banner years yet to come, Corey. And success is always to you, man. Yes, thank you. I All appreciate right. it. All right, that's it for this week. If you have questions or comments or have something you'd like to include in the community calendar, you can leave a message on our message box at 314-333-8369, 314-333-8369. And for more information about our show or any of our guests, you can visit us online and listen to the podcast at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And search Community Connection with Jade Harrell. You all be blessed, do blessed, and take care.